Hello everyone, I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. The second out of three uh, DS titles for Castlevania. And one that I don't really have any experience in whatsoever, as opposed to Dawn of Sorrow. So, well, and while I have seen the game, I'm sure playing it will be a bit of a different experience, especially since I don't really remember anything except, you know, Jonathan Charlotte, Jonathan Charlotte. <laughs> well, let's, let's just, uh, let's just go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's lowercase. Uh, putting me on the spot here, having to. Oh, okay. Uh, no, if, if it allows me to go back. But it doesn't actually... Okay, there we go. Ah! Uh, guess the sword's fine. Works for me. Not sure what significance that'll have, but oh well. 1944. The world is in chaos. The Second World War has claimed millions of lives, leveled cities, destroyed nations. The souls of the war's dead blanket the planet, lost, hurt, and angry. Their anguish summons an accursed castle of legend. It has appeared many times throughout history, bringing with it evil and darkness. The castle of Dracula, the lord of evil. It arrives in man's darkest hour to push us over the brink into ruin. That whip? There's no mistaking it. You're Jonathan Morris. Good eye. And you are... Ah, forgive me. I am Vincent Doran. By order of the church, I have been awaiting you. To think that the master of the legendary vampire killer would come here. A blessing indeed. Too bad he can't actually use it. Charlotte, can't you even pretend to play along for once? Well, that's the truth, isn't it? You can't lie to a priest. But what? Are you suggesting that whip is a fake, then? It's true. I can't use the vampire killer. This whip wasn't actually passed down through my family. You've heard of the Belmont family, haven't you? Why, of course I have. They've used that whip for generations to destroy Dracula. And that family is related to the Morris family by blood. Been doing your research, huh? Unfortunately, the fact is we're not the true successors. No problem, though. I've won every battle till now without the whip. Not one loss. Lucky you have me to help you. Yes, I was wondering about that. And you are... Well, excuse me. If you're from the church, then remember this. I am Charlotte Allen. Charlotte. I've heard that name before. Charlotte. Oh! You must be the great magician everyone's been, everyone's been talking about. <laughs> Great, you say? Uh, unbelievable to think that she was a mere child. Oh boy, now now she's mad. Oh, well, I, I mean, such a lovely young lady. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. So anyway, Vincent, you had some business with me. Oh, yes, yes, I do. I have been ordered to assist you in your quest. I've brought potions with me, but... Well, well, what? It's a matter of economics. So he's the shop guy. And, you know, 
healing doesn't come cheap. You want us to pay you, right? Um, well, if you insist. Sure, no problem. I think we can take care of that. Okay. But more importantly, the castle. Is that really Dracula's castle? No one has seen Dracula thus far. However, the church insists that it is indeed Dracula's castle. No doubt about it, this castle is pulsing with dark magical power. I can't imagine it's anything but the castle of Lord Dracula that I studied in the books. Sounds like fun. Come on, better get going then. Charlotte, right with you. B be careful, I'll search for a safe place. I'll meet you inside. Godspeed. So... So... Alright then. So I don't have... I... So I have the back dash, but... Oh my. Uh... There it is! Okay. There we go. Let's see. Call cube. Call partner with A. Press again to send partner away. Aha. So I didn't really... Ch Aha. Okay. Okay, I thought maybe there was a path there. I didn't... Re wasn't be I, I was focusing more on the shiny thing. So, yeah. You don't. Uh, Charlotte doesn't have much for weaponry at the moment. Thankfully, the map. The map is a thing that exists. I'm sure it will be very helpful. Tome of Arms 1. <laughs> Volume 1 of 3. Okay. And a short sword. Doesn't have too much for range, but it one shots the zombies. Which is which as of now is good enough for me, and there's our first save point. So at this point, oh dear, just uh, keep exploring until I find something. Okay, so that wasn't something that could hurt me. What's this? Throwing knife used by hunters. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh. 
But before I continue upwards here, there was a path back this way. Oh, jeez. Uh... Some zombies are already there, and some... Oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, so I can see my stats thusly, which is fine. I was distracted by the top screen. Uh, I can't get to that yet. I can't... No, I cannot. Okay. I can't stand on your shoulders. At least not for now. So I assume, yeah. Ik, ik, uh, XP is linked. Okay, I think. I understand. Aha. Raging fire. I wasn't sure if that was an enemy or an item. Uh, and the equipment, it looks like all of the equipment is unique to each person. That's good to know. Uh, oh, hello. A monster? No, wait. I sense no evil from him. Ah, you can sense me. Who are you? A ghost, as you can see. Ghosts have no need for names. Impossible. Somehow he retained his consciousness after dying. It must be the castle's magic. I don't know about you, but he sure seems shady to me. Think what you will. It's your choice. However, you can you truly destroy me with a whip you can't even use? Only one way to find out. Wait, hold on. How do you know he can't use the vampire killer? Huh? I find it very odd to find a ghost not controlled by the power of Dracula's castle. A smart girl compared to this foolish boy. Just before I died, I cast a magic barrier on myself, binding my soul to this place. I'm free from the castle's control, but I'm trapped here. But a paranormal entity like you can easily be affected by magic. Casting a barrier that repels the castle's power is impossible, even for me. Just who are you? My name is meaningless, but I suppose you need to call me something. Very well. Call me Wind. Mr. Wind? Just Wind is fine. Alright, Wind. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear him? He's trapped here, remember? I understand that, but if he truly has this much power, he could just 
you, he could use other methods besides just finding his spirit here. My, my, my. You really are a bright little girl, aren't you? Stop treating me like a child. My name is Charlotte. Ah, I understand. And who is this boy? Just who are you calling a boy? It's Jonathan. Jonathan Morris. Hmm. <laughs> the reason I'm here, simply put, is regret. I will not rest until the lord of this castle is vanquished. I thought I would lend assistance to those who wish to defeat him. But if you can't move from here, what do you intend to do? In spirit form, I am able to grant the items and techniques I once possessed in life. I think they'll be of great help to you. In that case, please help us. No, I've been able to do fine without any of his help so far, so why don't you just... Right, so far. But this is Dracula's castle. Even if you could use that whip, it won't help you when you die. Don't you remember your father? Enough about my father. Just leave this to me, okay? My father's dead. Forget him. Sorry, but still... No. Wait, I'm sorry. Guess I got a little overdramatic there. You might be right, Charlotte. Wind, perhaps we could use your help. Would you help us? If you can complete the tasks I give, only then will I help you. How are things? Aha! Uh -huh. Quests. The priest should have some useful things for you in the next room. Get the potion and the map. Care to try? This is your training. Okay. Oh well, well, welcome back. <laughs> so you're selling your potions here? There aren't many now, but my stock will increase little by little. For a price, right? Yes, I'm afraid so, Master Jonathan. Don't try anything shifty, and don't even try to lie. Still, it is true that rural churches are short on money, or so they say. Th thank you, your lifesavers. Anyway, please have a look. What can I do for you? Potion and the map. So, some interesting stuff to be had. Uh, okay. Not sure why I'd want to put things on display like that. But... How are things? Well done. Lizard tail. Oh, okay. Now I can slide. Thing. Regarding the castle's lord. You mean Dracula, right? I've read books about him. Dracula isn't this castle's lord. What do you mean? That's why they call this Dracula's castle. It is indeed Dracula's castle. However, the castle's lord is a vampire by the name of Brawner. I've heard nothing about that. As one would expect, his identity has been kept secret for years, after all. He infuses magic into paintings to increase his power. You will undoubtedly come across his paintings in this castle. Search for these paintings. He's using the paintings to make the castle's power his, isn't he? Still, he isn't Dracula, after all, so we're safe for now. Be careful, his power grows stronger by the minute. No problem. We won't let you be tied down here for long. That's a promise. Trust us, Jonathan might seem unreliable, but he'd never break a promise. <laughs> That's reassuring. Very well. Best of luck to you. Uh, do you have any more... Okay. Aha! Shortcuts. Shortcuts are good.
And there's a painting. This must be one of those paintings. Without a doubt. Hmm. I've got it. Care to share? This painting's function. Brawner is using it to control the power of this castle. Well then, let's hurry up and rip it to shreds! Impossible. Anything we do will be pointless. From what I can tell, based on the theory of curse amplification, this picture is a multi-layer quantum space barrier. A kind of paranormal phenomenon. Duh, okay. And what's that mean in human language? In short, think of it as a series of walls that surround the magic controlling Dracula's castle. The painting itself is just the outermost wall. As soon as you break it, it'll regenerate. It's unbreakable. How convenient. So now what? I'll align my magic with the painting so we can enter it. That'll be the best way to circumvent the castle's magic. The risk is quite high, though. No problem. Come on, what do we have to lose? Okay then, here we go. So we're in the painting now. The will of the artist is embodied here. Uh, okay, thankfully I'm not stuck here. But I want to see if there's anywhere else I can go before I commit myself to that. Like a warp point, for example. Very good. Book of Spirits. Display the names of enemies when you attack them. Okay. Not the most important thing, but, you know, it exists. It does less damage, but it has, but it has, I like the reach. Okay, so, right, there was, there was a path this way. Oh, never mind. I, I can't get to that yet. All right. Just making sure I there wasn't anything that I had missed. Goodness knows there's likely uh, secret paths and whatnot that I... That I'll be likely missing, but... I sh forgot to place Charlotte. There we go. Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, the the increased reach of the whip is definitely significant. All right. Let's go take a look at the painting and see what kind of stuff we can find. Hopefully, the uh, the next save point won't be too far out. City of Haze. Okay. I was just checking to see if there was a. Uh, if I could warp back outside the painting, but no. Oh, jeez.
You are quite tanky. So I think part of the problem is that I am doing crap for damage. Clover Tiara. More defense, more mines. Works for me. Not sure how much use the money will be, but, you know, better to have more than less. White Corsage. Ah, it's an accessory that is just for... for you, okay. I'll take whatever improvements I can get. Oh, I'm doing two damage now. Good. I seem to recall... I seem to recall there was something that you could those these sub weapons would power up the more you use them, but I don't remember how I would know about that. Or Yeah. 
Yeah, I had a feeling there was something down here. Copper plate. Nice. And a claymore. Slower, but it has definitely has better reach than the than the short sword does. I didn't even see those. Uh, okay, both of you can use it. You need the defense more, I think. That was a rotting meat that I got. Give me them levels. Attack speed's a bit faster. Now. Although now I'm concerned about where the near save point is now. You know what? Warp point? That works. Alright, and since the you know there's a save point right close to here, I think that'll that'll that works for me. I'm mostly concerned about that what path you hear that I completely disregarded. That at least I have a way back to where I just was, and that that's good enough for me. So, I guess join me next time when we explore more of this painting and we'll see what kind of neat stuff we find. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.